faithless failed president-elect Donald Trump makes it official, sailing past the 270 electoral votes needed to secure a White House win. His victory coming despite the left's desperate bid to flip some electors. Kristen Fisher's live force from Washington, D.C., with more on the high drama surrounding the vote. Good morning, Kristen. Hey, good morning, Heather and Clayton. Well, despite all of the talk and all the threats, in the end, only two Republican electors ended up defecting. Now, that's not to say that there weren't plenty of protests. In Wisconsin, a woman had to be escorted out for standing up and screaming at electors, telling them, you sold out our country. Check this out. You don't deserve to be in America. But the deepest divisions on display yesterday were actually on the Democratic side. One Democratic elector in Maine tried to vote for Senator Bernie Sanders, but switched to Clinton after it was ruled improper. Same thing happened in Minnesota and Colorado, but those electors were replaced. One Democratic elector had, that did not have trouble, uh, that Clinton did not have trouble counting on, was her husband. The former President Bill Clinton said that he's never cast a vote that he's been prouder of. He then blamed her loss on Russia and the FBI. Quote, I watched her battle through that bogus email deal. Be vindicated at the end when Secretary Powell came out. She fought through that. She fought through everything. And she prevailed against it all. But at the end, we had the Russians and the FBI deal, and she couldn't prevail against them. So Clinton may have won the popular vote, but Trump easily won the Electoral College, 304 to Clinton's 227. The only thing that still needs to happen is that Congress must officially certify the results, and that won't happen until after the new year. So Heather and Clayton, it is official, but not certified yeah. just yet. So still Still time for a lot of complaining from some people there. Yeah, maybe we see some drama on the floor of Congress. <laughs> All right, Always thanks, enough time to complain. That's right.